Why and why now? Well, we're, um, we don't like the results right now, and uh, that brings us to evaluate a lot of things inside the organization. In, uh, and it's not, on, it's not about an individual person. The, the result of uh, Mr. Pern uh, being uh, uh, re-affected if he accepts our offer is more the result of a, um, a change from a global perspective, from a, a big picture perspective, where we need to be better at what we do. We need to be more efficient. And in order to do that, uh, that's one of the changes that we've decided to make. But it is in no way a reflection of uh, who he is as a person or, or what he's been doing and his competence and his, his is professionalism. A, is a reflection of the results, though, that have been produced? Uh, our reevaluation of everything in, in the big picture of things is absolutely anytime you face new challenges, you, you need to look in the mirror. And that's what I've been doing, starting with myself. And uh, it's my, my job as the leader of the organization to try to help people better. And uh, that's what I feel we can do uh, going forward. Uh, and, and it's not because Mr. Pern is gone that all of a sudden everything's okay. It's about working differently and working hopefully more efficiently. Given the state of your team right now, how closely will you evaluate things moving forward uh, because if things continue over the next few games in the same manner, will there be more changes? We, we do that all the time, even when we're winning on, on a variety of fronts with player personnel, and, and everything that we do, I mean, this is a, like uh, Glenn Sater told me my first month in the job there when I first started in Ottawa, he said to me, Pierre, said in this job you never slack off, and don't let anybody slack off. And he's right, I mean, that's the way we live. And now with the league closer than ever, and so competitive, I mean, that's the way we work. So the answer to your question is every day, every minute. Pierre, I have two questions if you don't mind. say you said, the hockey is a emotive. Yes. What do you think of your bench not being elusive? Uh, I'm sorry? You talked, about, you talked about hockey being an emotional and passionate game, but there's not much of it behind your bench. Does that concern you? Well, you, you know what? That's, that's interesting because uh, maybe inside the walls it's a lot more emotion than you think. And, and uh, if you look at coaches around the league or behind the bench, I don't think that they're that emotional. Uh, inside the walls it's a, probably a lot more emotional. But, but you know where hockey is emotional? It's an emotional, it's an, it's emotional in the way you play the game. It's very emotional on the ice. And sometimes, actually, I, I believe the coach has to be the one that's the least emotional because he's got to analyze things and he's got to think. And uh, uh, the emotion transfers to everybody. The ups and downs, the fans, everybody gets very emotional because of the nature of the game. And But ourselves as leaders, we have to detach ourselves actually from emotion to be able to take the right decisions. It doesn't mean we don't feel them, but you know, we, there's a balance there that needs to be reached. My second question to you, Pierre Fionnhoin, is are you concerned with some of the coaching decisions at all over the last couple of games? A player, Lars Eller, telling us that for 42 minutes he had no idea that the goalie changed for Toronto. The two too many men on the ice penalties. Um, the goalie slamming his stick trying to get the attention of the bench. I'm yeah. wondering if that is concerning to you. I think you, you'd be on any team and all these questions come up at a time or another. I think that uh, what we're looking to do here is not to uh, uh, place the blame on anybody or uh, bring up one given situation or another and say this is what's wrong, this is what's wrong. I think uh, in order to, to do my job uh, as a leader and it is to help the people f function better, find better solutions, face challenges with more tools and uh, with more confidence and uh, this is this is how we've approached the situation in the last few days. Did you come to this decision Pierre? I'm sorry. Did you come to this decision with Jeff Molson or on your This is entirely my decision. Uh, of course, uh, you know, I talk to Jeff Molson every day. Mr. Molson is uh, the president of the club and uh, but in good times and bad times I talk to him just about every day and uh, he's very supportive of what we do we really appreciate it uh, and it's the same with Mr. Martin uh, you know even if this decision would have been uh, 
uh, you know, part of Mr. Martin's. I mean, this is the type of decision that didn't belong to Mr. Martin because it's, it's very hard emotionally to do that. He's, he's a friend and he's also a co-worker. This is something that I needed to take care of. Not in terms of is it about Perry or not uh, Mr. Pern or not Mr. Pern, but about what needs to be done to affect the types of changes we want to make. Can you elaborate? Can have to do with the performance of the power plant. No, that's what I just said. It's not about this or that in specifics. It's about, you know, uh, yeah, maybe the power play played very good last game, uh, you know, and I think it's going in the right direction. But it, it's about uh, the big picture of facing our challenges better and going forward where hopefully we can be better at everything we do to the point where those types of, of streaks that we don't like don't happen anymore. Can you explain how this move will help will help you get that big picture improvement that you're looking for? What what do you hope results from this move? Well, th this is just uh, one move that is uh, um, starts right away in the big picture of trying to function differently. And um, you know, like I told the players uh, earlier, I said this is not. Uh, ref a reflection on, on Mr. Perrin's job and it's, it's not this action that's going to change anything but over time we're going to function more efficiently we're going to function better we're going to function out of the box a little bit more than we have and uh, that's this is one thing that's part of that change